Bonjour, Steve Primo. We're at La Couture. We've been talking for the past few hours about a mural project, an art work that's uh, attempting to portray the history of the La Couture tribe. You're an artist from Mill Axe, and I had a chance to see some of your work last week at the State of the Band address. And I saw images of native people with a lot of energy, carrying uh, canoes, uh, fighting, uh, building houses, dealing with uh, the federal government. Tell us about your vision. Well, the, um, the mural I called uh, Journey Through Time was about a, uh, the um, migration from the Great Salt Sea, as it were, to uh, Mille Lacs. Uh, the original working title was The Wet Canoe. I, um, I called it that because the, uh, uh, I saw a wet canoe as something to be treated very delicately. And um, it, it referred to the culture. Um, you took a lot of time uh, tending the culture or the canoe. Um, because it was your mode of transportation, it, I, I related it to the, uh, the canoe, to the culture, be, because we are constantly moving towards uh, a, uh, an end or a beginning, but we're moving. Um, and it takes great pains to keep the uh, culture uh, viable, as you would a canoe. Yeah. If it gets wet, it's easily punctured in uh, a, a birch bark canoe, that is. And um, you have to take great care in maintaining it. And I equated that to the c culture. So um, that was my vision. Um, the people struggling, there's a lot of uh, struggles to maintain the culture. Um, and uh, the people around it. I tried to show their passion in uh, maintaining the culture. So that was uh, that was my idea. So <laughs> that if people came away with that uh, that um, uh, knowledge of it, uh, that's what I was trying to uh, portray. So. A poet friend of mine talks about. Poetry is an ecological so survival technique. When I looked at your paintings, I had the same impression, the same painting, that these are tools for uh, survival. Tell us more about that. Well, as in, as in poetry, you, you, um, the, uh, uh, the uh, artist tries to uh, instill or to draw emotion and uh, as much like uh, a painting uh, you have to uh, give the viewer or the reader as it were in poetry um, a sense of what's going on in the in the poem at the time or in the picture um, the uh, life is <laughs> um, pretty much like poetry or, or a painting, um, you got to put into it what, um, what you want people to know about your life or your culture, or your, or your existence actually. You know, you, the more you put into it, the more passion you put into it, uh, the more the reader gets out of the poetry, the more the uh, viewer gets out of art, and the, the more uh, you get out, out of life. So uh, That's what I was trying to uh, portray. What are some of the uh, encouragements that you can offer to uh, LCO artists who are working on this mural? Um, I would like to see them portray the, the, the passion it took to, to um, begin LCO, the passion it took to maintain it and the passion it's going to take to uh, make a future of it. Uh, it's going to stay. Uh, I visit often. I was born in Hayward 
and um, uh, come back to either help or to uh, view the painting would be, uh, or even help in the painting if, if possible would be uh, would be uh, great. Uh, I, I get, wish them all the luck and uh, uh, would enjoy seeing the final uh, piece. So. This is Nick Vanderpai and Steve Primo for IndianCountryTV.com.